state-of-the-art equipment. Using cutting-edge technology, we've transformed this hangar into a one-of-a-kind sports testing ground. The Sports Science Lab is 28,000 square feet of cool breakthrough technology. Designed to get inside the minds and bodies of the most elite athletes in the world. This is definitely by far the coolest and newest thing I've seen. This cutting edge laboratory is designed to answer every question that's ever popped into your head while watching a game. That is so sweet. Every barroom debate can be settled. Every myth challenged. Every mystery solved. We're out to debunk the oldest myth in sports. Accelerometers, pressure sensors, eye trackers, high-speed cameras, crash test dummies, and Vanguard motion capture technology. All to give us an inside look at the games we play. When I walked in here, I just didn't know what you know what was going on. If it was a movie or what it was, there's some things I learned here that I'm going to use in my training in science. It validates uh, my instincts. If it jumps, punches, kicks, throws, push, or slams, this is the place to put it to the test. In our state-of-the-art lab, we've taken the ultimate X-factor in a game, temperature to the extreme. For sports equipment designed for warm weather, performance drops as the mercury drops. So we put the equipment to the cold test. Inflatable balls performed worst. After all, it's the law. It's called Charles's Law. As the temperature drops, the volume of a gas decreases. As the mercury drops, the surface gets more brittle, and the ball actually gets smaller. It travels less distance and becomes harder to control. For example, chill a football, then try to kick a field goal. For every 10 degrees colder the ball gets, it will travel nearly one foot less. That could be the difference between clearing the crossbar in balmy Tampa Bay and coming up short on the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field. So that got us thinking, what about a ball that isn't inflated? Like a golf ball. If cold makes things perform worse, can heat improve performance? In other words, can you hit a golf ball farther simply by warming it up. <laughs> to find out, Sports Science took a field trip to the Titleist Performance Institute. This is golf's premier proving ground, and founder Dr. Greg Rose is TPI's golf science guru. Our mission today is pretty clear. We're gonna test to see if temperature affects the speed of the golf ball. Unlike the air-filled balls, this is a solid object, all the way to the core. So it would seem that the solid golf balls would be less affected by temperature. But are those dimples or goosebumps? Let's find out. We took golf balls, we put them in an incubator for the last two days. We've got the balls cooking at about 102 degrees, and then we've got balls cooling in a refrigerator at about 38 degrees. So we've got over a 60 degree difference between the cold and the hot ones, and we'll be able to tell you real quick, does temperature affect the flight of the golf ball? To get consistent data, there's only one swing you can trust, Iron Byron. Byron's been testing balls for the USGA for over 30 years. Sorry, Tiger, this is still the only perfect swing on the planet. Because it's the exact same swing every time. We had Byron hit 10 golf balls that had been chilled to under 40 degrees. The cold balls averaged a flight of 265 yards. Then Byron put his perfect swing on 10 balls that we had heated up in a 100 degree incubator. 
On average, each ball carried 275 yards in the air. So the results? The warm balls travel 10 yards farther than the cold balls. So why do warm golf balls travel farther? The secret's not in the dimples. It's at the golf ball's microscopic level. The molecules of a warm ball are very active, moving at very high speeds, so the ball is very elastic. But in a cold ball, the molecules move much more slowly. This makes the ball harder and far less elastic. A warm golf ball remains in contact with the club face for one two thousandths of a second. Doesn't sound like much, but in that split second, the ball flattens elastically against the club. More surface area in contact with the club face means more energy transferred from the club to the ball, and the ball launches with astonishing recoil. A cold, less elastic golf ball doesn't compress nearly as much, which means less surface area in contact with the club face for an even shorter period of time. As a result, less energy is transferred from the club, which adds up to less distance. So warming up the balls is without question the easiest way to add 10 yards on the team.